Columbia went to triple overtime at Harvard and they lost 98-96 tonight. Both teams are going to have to bounce back. Ivy League playing back to back for weekend number two. Knight went for the steal and that leads to the dunk for Tape. Smith comes back low to Carter. This is not a usual uh, lineup on the floor for Dave McLaughlin and they get points out of it. They want it. Columbia with good ball movement and they get their first tray of the night, Maka Ellis. To get some sort of double down help. Can't let him get in that tight. Barry back in, sticks a three. Stretch, took us well past the usual media timeout. The block is by Julian Smith of the big green. Knight up top, yes, three. Barry now all the way back out to the D, and that could not be any further out. Unconscious. Don't touch Brendan. He's got a fever of 103. Carter's open, and it goes down. Take that all night, bonus points, and Carter has responded. Foy's got to hurry the shot. Got it! What a shot. Terrific James James finish Foy. to the half of the big green junior, James Foy. Last night, they just couldn't get a couple of stops. We'll have to hurry again. Well, I don't know what you do about that. You, you run him down to one on the clock. You confront the shooter in the corner, and he still makes a three. And those two threes by Ian Sister puts Dartmouth up by 20. 15 in the game, Dartmouth's leading scorer gives to Foy for an easy two. Yeah, Columbia's tired. I mean, we've stressed that all night, but. Tepe working against Carter. Adlesh give and go, and that's the first. Well, they've done a nice job defensively getting some steals. Columbia first in the Ivy League in stealing the basketball. Columbia with a rebound of the rye miss. Ellis coming in hard, it'll count and a foul. Samuels in transition, that's a three. And Torres has his first field goal of the night. Timeout Columbia as Dartmouth leads 60-39. Back to Tepe. Dartmouth needed a blowout win too. Wow, what a shot. Adlis for three. 13 for Maka Ellis. Foy is open for Dartmouth the other way and gets the three right back. That's the problem with pressure. If you beat it, you'll get guys wide open that can shoot the ball. That'll be another win for Dartmouth on flannel night, Eric. Undefeated, right? Carter inside for that one is good. To beat the Lions tonight, 82 66. Some thoughts? Well, you know, I think right from the onset, Brendan Berry was not going to allow Dartmouth to lose this game tonight. He took over the offense in the first half, put on a clinic from the outside, drove to the basket early to set up his outside shot. I think Berry gets my MVP tonight.